Right then, quick modification video on a Discovery 2. Uh, I'm going to be replacing this uh, plastic bumper for a heavy duty metal one. Now to do this, you need to pop out the uh, rear lights, squeeze that tab there, it should, you know, it'll probably come off, I need two hands for that. And you'll see a nut there, or a bolt, should I say. I would clean these up with a wire brush first and soak them through because God knows how long they've been in there. If I go underneath, I'll show you. There, there you go. Clean them up with the wire brush, get all the crap off them and soak them through and leave it for a bit. I'd even leave it for a full day and hopefully you'll have a better chance then. Obviously, same on that side as well. And you're also going to need to undo that nut there and that nut there. Because you'll see on the new bumper, it's got a slide, there's a metal plate that slides behind there. And then you've got to re redo the bolts again. But look at the kit, uh, well, the bumper comes with new bolts anyway, so we'll be replacing all them. Let's go and show you the new bumper anyway. This is my new bumper that I'm going to be putting on. I'm not sure exactly who makes these. I know you can get them uh, on eBay, Brickpart, Bearmark, I think, sell them as well. So you got your hooks there for recovery, high lift jacking points, and also your original uh, rear lamps fitting those as well. If, we, if you look on the back, that's the metal plate where the two bolts sit in, but you've got to undo it, it slides behind it. You can see it's quite thick. It's also quite heavy as well. So that's gonna be fun getting this on. So yeah, there we go. So the kit was actually come with the bolts and washers. I should imagine the long ones are for the tow bar and those small ones there will go through the behind where the rear lamps are in case you're wondering, they do come with them. Before you take your bumper off, that little wire thing there is actually attached. You need to pinch that with a set of pliers and then that'll just come off. But if you don't, you'll end up ragging it off with your bumper. Right, so I've already hit an issue. The captive nut that's welded to this back plate here is just spinning around. See if I can show you. See it's spinning a lot. So, we we're going to try and tack weld that captive nut on again. And I'll just cut the bolt off from the other side. Which is going to be fun. Well, I suppose that's one way to do it. Just got a big long arm on one end, just managed to get a 19mm uh, spanner on the other, which just completely snapped it off. So that's one side free. Do the same to the other. Right, I'm just done with these last two bolts now. They are very stiff. I'm using this big long power bar on it. Obviously, these haven't even been off in ages, if not from new from the factory. So I'm taking it real easy with this. Uh, it's an 18mm. And again, it was a big long bar on it. Right, so what I've done here is, rather than doing all the nuts on the tow bar, let the tow bar drop, I've just done these two here. Just let this plate drop down, so there's enough room there to get that back plate in on the new rear bumper. Right, so I've just managed to get it on on my own. It isn't really a two-man operation, but I've managed it. So, I'm using the original backing plate there, and, uh, see it and not going to wash it on back because obviously the uh, welded captive nuts have snapped off so we'll do that but first I'm going to nip these two up so it pulls that plate straight up into there and lines the holes up and we'll see where we're at and there we go all done uh, a bit of a faff with the old uh, bolts on there that were rusty I had to just keep freeing them off but other than that 
not a bad job really. Nice solid bumper. So you can see it from this angle, the bumper is now a lot shorter. Um, the old one roughly came to about there. So this bumper's a lot uh, better for off-roading with departure angles and what have you. The good thing is it takes the original lights as well. They just pop straight in. So yeah, good bit of kit. Also notice on the roof, I've got rid of the uh, shorter roof basket. I'm now looking for a, a full one. I actually ordered one from a, a company called Click Superstore. Um, they had one advertised on eBay for like £280. If you're thinking about buying one, don't. They've just been mugging me off now for the last three weeks, so I've got in contact with a uh, credit card company and looking to get a refund because they're absolute dog shit. Do not buy from Click Superstore. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the front end. That's all good. Uh, obviously got the heavy duty front bumper on this side, light guards. I'm not going to touch the front end now. That looks spot on. Um, just need a snorkel for the wing on that side. Uh, obviously the big roof rack and I think we're just about sorted. So the interior's pretty much been sorted now. Um, I spent um, a good weekend quite a while ago doing the headlining and sunroofs. Um, I'll do a separate video on that actually, but yeah, it's looking pretty tidy in here. Nice new sunroof headline and headlining. Um, might look for some sort of uh, dash pod on there though, you know, with some extra gauges, but other than that, it's pretty sound in here. That's it for this uh, modification video. Um, if you like what you see, do the usual stuff, like and subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, and I'll see you again in the next video. See ya.